Hey guys. Well, here we are. Little uh, excursion on pedestrian bridges. This is the first one off uh, Lakeview Drive and Normandale Road, Medina. This was one I think I hit by a Pepsi truck about two years ago up here. They're two of the same, I'm gonna go the other one up, up by the school, I'll drive up there, but here it is. These are kind of cool. This one is wheelchair accessible. A couple more to go, this is kind of cool. You saw the one back in the archives, they're brand new and they built. So it's kind of, it's kind of nice. There's a school over there. The golf course, the Dyna golf course is over here. The old Perkins that I videotaped two years ago, they tore down, is over there. This is 100. You need Dyna. One of the top 10 cities in the country to give out speeding tickets. So be careful, 100. It's real easy to go, 70. It's kind of nice. Nice production bitch. You can bike up here, wheelchair accessible. Is there's uh, there's a, a lot of my 100 I'm gonna check out. Hope you like the uh, railroad bridge. That was kind of cool. I was talking to a guy from one of the TikTok. I guess a lot of people, uh, homeless people, on that one you saw yesterday. So September 8th, 2023. Now 11's coming up. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. I think it was that one. He hit that pillar right over there, a Pepsi truck, in wintertime one time. any dead bodies or money down there you guys dang it don't worry about it one of these days I'm gonna find a suitcase for all my travels no idea when this was built but it's solid you can tell there's a front road to I'll drive up a little farther and I'll get on the one over there. And then the other one is down here off Excelsior Boulevard after 50th Street. So a lot of us to go back and forth, just get into Dinah, back and forth. It's a nice highway, 100. Yeah, it's 60, but people, it's easy to go 70 on this highway. Like I've said, people put signs on up here and then it slows down traffic. These are real nice for people to go back and forth. You can go, if you're in a wheelchair, you can cruise across on your scooter. They have a speed detector down there. I don't know, I, I'm probably about 30, 50 years old. That's pointing uh, southbound. I'm heading westbound. Guys, nice town. They're ripping down a lot of old houses and putting in starter castles. Beautiful day here. 75 degrees. Heat's gone. Labor Day's in the in the rearview mirror. And this comes out in April. We already got through winter of 2024. Hopefully we got a lot of snow. No one got killed, right? So this one is is, is, is cool.
this over on this side it's Win Windsor Avenue and their frontage road. There's a church down there. So if you go to that church, you can come across and walk down there. And if you go to that school on this side, you can go over there. Mikel. I think he I think he he hit that one or came across whatever it was, but you can tell the cement's not cracking. Pretty solid. Not lost. Like I said, you can tell this is real concrete, not crap. I don't see any signs. When this was built, usually they have like a plaque. You know, this one was built by whom, you know. But you look at it, the concrete's pretty good. No political signs, posters, or banners displayed on, on the bridge. Good. See, that's a good thing. That's a good thing because it slows things down. See? That's the way they should be because it slows down traffic. So if you live in this house, your child goes to school or your buddy lives over there, you can go see your friend. But it's a good thing to go, and there's the Dyna Golf Course, so if you wanna, you're a Dyna, you can probably drive your golf cart across here. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything that says how old it is, but I guess I could spend 110 hours to see when it was built, but I'm glad they don't like uh, signs because it slows up traffic. So. Pedestrian bridges, right? The hell. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous day for filming, walking. So yeah, they always have these. Edina does. Those, they, they tell you how fast you're going. If you look it up, they're one of the top 10 cities in the country for giving out speed tickets. So it's Windsor Avenue where it comes on the other side, on the west side of Edina. And if you can kind of see over there, that building, You'd be a Perkins there, I love that. And that's Edina Golf Course over there. Old golf course. It's a shooting range almost. I've caddied there before in a couple tournaments. It's not a big deal. But, yeah, I don't know. A little uh, walk on a pedestrian bridge. So it's a nice community. The Dinah Hornets, they're real known for hockey. Uh, I think the girls have a very, yes, the girls have very good tennis program. Look that up, they're always winning something. Hopkins has basketball, but they also have good high school. Kurt Giles coaches the high school team at high school. You saw me bike, bike by it when I did the Nine Mile Creek. That's over there. It used to be two high schools, Edina West and East. We had Eisenhower High School, the Warriors, and they had the Limburg Flyers. Now the Limburg is just Hopkins Royals, which is pretty boring. Should have been the Limburg Flyers. Now it's a nice community. A lot, a lot of immigrants come to the western suburbs because they know they got they have good uh, good schools. Hell yeah! Can I go to that one and hit St. Louis Park one and maybe? Uh, the one off of 55, and then maybe swing by my house, get the other one out, and then I'll get the other one's 100 later on. But yeah, something cool, something different, right?
So anyways, guys. So, we'll see you on the next one, okay?